Hello, I'm Taylor Weldon. I'm a designer, I'm a traveler, and I'm senior editor here at Carryology. It's my pleasure today to welcome you to our installment of my personal eight favorite everyday packs. Ah, the everyday backpack. This one is my personal favorite, and in my humble opinion, it defines that word carry that we talk about so much. And yes, carry still includes EDC items, messenger bags, travel bags, luggage even, it includes all that stuff. But for me, when I hear that word carry, I think of the everyday backpack. And in fact, when I think of the word backpack, I think of everyday carry backpacks, that size, that scale. It kind of is the backpack that can do anything. It can be used for work, it can be used for play, indoors, outdoors, for EDC. Frankly, it's the bag that you wanna carry every day. It can do multiple different things. It's kind of like this Venn diagram of awesomeness. And right there in the very middle of it is the everyday backpack. And it also represents kind of freedom to me. Without an everyday backpack, you're not going anywhere. With this, you can put all your stuff that you need for the day and just get ready to go. This is the icon of carry, and this is why I love it so much. Before we get started, please do us a favor, click that little subscribe button below. Let's get this thing started. The Triple Lot Design Axiom 24. This is the version two of the Axiom 24. And Triple Lot Design, they originally launched this bag where it was expandable, where you could undo a zipper in the back and gain you know, six more liters, something like that. And they also released a 18 liter version of this bag. But they kind of find the sweet spot with the 24 liter. That's, that's my preferred range. Sometimes like a little bit bigger, depends on what I'm doing. But this is, for me, the ultimate bag for every day, for travel, kind of does a little bit of everything. It can take abuse, it has great water resistance. And actually a friend of mine just asked me yesterday, they said, what bag have you used the most out of all the bags you've owned or have owned or you know, currently owned? And I had to think about that for a while. And my conclusion was, it's this bag. And I guess it surprised me because I never really thought about it. But Sure enough, Axiom 24 is the bag that I use the most, whether I'm just gonna run to the store, you know, go traveling. I'm surprised when I'm looking at this bag right now that I've taken this bag to a trip to the uh, Philippines and to Japan, and I, I think I was there for 12 days. Everything I needed, including this giant camera that I have, and lenses and clothes and everything, a tripod, it all fit into this bag. And for me, it's, it's organized. It's super organized the way that I wanna pack it. And that's for real, I guess the ultimate thing that I like about this bag is, is the organization. And that's why I use this bag for all these different things. And before we get into the inside here, I wanna talk about the outside. They're using a ripstop dimension polyant X-Pack fabric. And some people, they think it's loud. I don't know, I mean, for me, it doesn't bother me at all. I love X-Pack material. It's waterproof, it's durable, it looks cool. I mean, it just looks awesome. In my opinion, those, those X, the, the reinforced X pattern in there that you can see through the, the face fabric. But I like the stuff. It's up to you to decide whether you like it or not. Let's go in here in the main compartment. It's cool as they added some uh, Somali Pals and uh, laser cut Hypalon on the side here. So you can add a variety of triple lots pouches or someone else's pouches. You have a pretty simple main compartment here. Um, you got some organization here on the back. You can add some of Tad's uh, modular pouches here to these loops here. And I just, for me, this is where I keep all my clothes, my big tripod, camera lens. This is my, my go-to compartment. And I use pouches, like I mentioned before, and they're great for in there. But where this pack really shines, if you're into EDC, this type of organization right here. You got all kinds of organization. I mean, you can put like knives in here, flashlights, pens, got a zipper drop pocket that goes pretty far down, as you can see. Mesh pocket here on the front side. And what's what I really like about this particular pocket is if I have something small, you know, camera lens here, and I, I'm in a rush and I don't wanna put it in one of these pockets, I can just kind of drop it down in there and this will catch it for me. This little pocket down in here. So it doesn't go the whole way down, which is kind of nice, so I'm not digging the whole way down in here to try to find something, but I can just grab it, toss it in, zip it up, and be on my way. Now there's a couple tricks that the Axiom 24 has up its sleeve that I think are pretty cool. One of them is this pocket down here. And you might not notice it right away, it's kind of hidden, 
we look at it from the front, but undo this pocket and this goes the whole way up in here. And for me, that's a perfect spot for a rain shell. Nice light jacket, like the Raptor, Arc'teryx jacket, whatever you want. For me, I just pop it in there, starts drizzling, unzip that, quick access, and I'll have to dig around in the main compartment with all my other stuff. And actually, I'm gonna show two more little tricks here. Talking about the inside and how it's relatively simple. A lot of people, they like water bottles. I'm on the fence about them. But anyway, I got these two awesome water bottle pockets on the side. You access them through a zipper in the back here. What you do is put your water bottle in here and they'll actually expand this pocket on the inside. And sure, it might steal a little bit of volume from your other stuff, but if you want to want to, if you want to run a water bottle pocket or a water bottle, that's what you're gonna have to deal with. I think it's cool, it keeps the outside super clean, super slick. You know, I have this big bulge sticking off the side of your pack. It's up to you to decide whether you like that or not. But then you also have two other zippered pockets back here. One's for your laptop. I can personally fit a 15, 16 inch laptop in here. I know some people have trouble, but my MacBook Pro fits just fine. And then on the other side, you can put a, a tablet in here. And these two, these two pockets, they actually don't meet in the middle. My hands aren't touching. There's two crossover pockets. And then this other zipper back here, other water bottle pocket for the other side. I mean, this pack, it, it surprises me every day. It can do things that I thought it wouldn't be able to do. It goes on trips with me all over the place, all over the world, all over the country, and even to the store. If you like organization, this is a great pack to look into. Now we've got the Alpha One Niner Evade 1.5 Full and Multicam Black 500D Cordura Nylon. This is actually the grand champion for our 2020 carry awards in best everyday bag category. So I might be a little bit biased. This bag has all of the bells and whistles. It has all the features. This thing is packed full of stuff. And what really is amazing about it is this bag is $225 as shown here. Now, Helmy, who's the owner of this company, Alpha One Niner, he's been making tactical gear for about 14 years. And he's used all of that skill and knowledge into this bag, which is primarily driven towards the civilian market. And I gotta say, it really shows. Um, of course, in the multicam black colorway, it does look a little bit more tactical, but for me, if this thing is in black, it looks just like any other bag, particularly this little feature here. It's the little Velcro panel on here, which comes off and it's color matched, in this case, multicam black. But if you're running a black bag, it makes the Velcro disappear. So you can either run it with that or pop your own patch on there. Now going back to the modularity thing, these little loops here, they come with an included elastic cable, cord that is. So you can put a jacket in here, whatever you want on the outside, run it however you like. I don't like it on there because I like the clean aesthetic, but you can do it if you want. And again, it's up to you. Getting more into that, here's the front organizer panel. Now this is really neat because you can put all of your little EDC accessories in here, all, the, all your little flashlights, pens, knives, whatever you want. Or if you're like me, you rip it out you can, and it's modular. You can toss it in the back compartment or just toss it out. I love that thing, but it's just not for me. So I tailor it to my tastes. I use pouches and things like that. So all my pouches go right in this pocket here. Flip it up. Gotta say, I love this pocket up here. This is micro fleece, micro fiber line that is. Uh, so I can put my glasses in here, maybe a phone, it won't get scratched up. Nice little pocket just for whatever's in my hands. And of course, on the outside, you have water bottle pockets. For me, again, I don't know if, if I love them or, or hate them, but they're there and this will fit a big old water bottle. I believe this is a 26 ounce Yeti bottle. Fits just fine, again, both sides. Now, I did mention the product name. This is the 1.5 Full. Now, what that means is, this is the third iteration of this bag. And there, it started out with the 1.0, then I went to the 2.0, and now this is the 1.5. And the full aspect, the full means there's a laptop compartment in the back here. So let's go into that. The light version does not have this compartment. So you can put a laptop back in here, a tablet, some papers, whatever you see fit. 
There's also a little hidden pocket back here, which I like. Velcro lined, of course. And you can put armor back in there. People like to put concealed carry in there, whatever you want. Now let's get into the main compartment. Undo these compression straps. Got the sleeping bag in here to fill it out for the review. And this whole back panel is not only Velcro line, but has Molly Pals webbing. So you can put pouches on here or you can put Velcro pouches on here. You know, whatever you want. Love this bag. King of modularity. However you want to set it up, it's up to you. And frankly, that's what, in my opinion, the, the mixture of cost, the 25 liter volume, all these features, that's what made this bag the Carry Awards winner of 2020. And I'm looking forward to using this bag a whole lot more. I've just started using it maybe over the past six months or so, but this is gonna get a lot more miles on it. I love this bag. The Bellroy Apex Backpack. This thing is sexy. I'm gonna get right, just get right to it. I got to see this bag before it launched um, at Outdoor Retailer. Andy Falshaw, the owner of Bellroy, who's walking around the show. We get to see each other maybe once or twice a year, depending on Outdoor Retailer, obviously not this year. He brought this bag into Outdoor Retailer, it was on his back, and I hadn't seen this guy for maybe a year at this point. And the first thing I did, I said, Andy, what is, what is that on your back? And it was the initial prototype, and I was instantly drawn to it. It hadn't been released yet. He hadn't even leaked it or teased me the, uh, the product yet. And I, I recognized it right away. So this is Bellroy's concept car, as they call it. Now, this is 10 years of Bellroy experience and patterning and product development all coming into one. And yes, it is expensive, right around $450 US, if I'm not mis mistaken. And that is expensive, don't get me wrong, but there's a reason for that. Gotta say, these shoulder straps, that's kind of what drew me in when Andy was wearing the bag. Leather on the outside, air mesh padding on the inside. They just look gorgeous. So even though this bag just looks gorgeous all around, it does function. And there's a reason for the price. Let's get to the inside here. So, all the material is made out of Bellroy's proprietary uh, recycled water-resistant nylon fabric. That's really cool. Bellroy is very conscious about the environment, so the recycled element is really cool. This little hook is really interesting and useful. You got the leather loops here, so you can expand the bag or shrink it down depending on your load. Now, once you get into here, it's a really interesting organizer, or uh, sorry, access, not organizer, access method. So this is held on with magnets here. And you basically just rip this down. And now you have full access to the inside here. And this is quite, frankly, it's amazing. This water resistant fabric in the inside here, some of it's stretched, some of it's not, depending on the pocketing. It's got a laptop compartment here in the back. And you have full access to all of your accessory pouches along the side here. They call this their tool belt. That's really cool that, you know, grab these little loops, drop your stuff in here, little accessories, power bricks, things like that. And that, that access just blows me away. Now, what most people don't understand here is this whole thing is bonded. There's no stitch lines there, if you see that. This is the type of thing that Arc'teryx does, and this is the first for Bellroy in a bag. I do like their other bags, but this thing this really speaks to me, all this performance and technology put into this bag after 10 years of design and development at Bellroy. And I gotta say, overall, this is one of my favorite bags ever made. This is kind of, some people call it the Bellroy Noman. I think it's the Bellroy Apex, frankly. It's super high end, lots of technology goes into it, looks fantastic, great organization. Lots of hidden stuff going on here. I, I love this bag. I've traveled with this bag. I use this bag for every day. I'll go to the to a design meeting with this bag. I'll travel internationally with this bag. I can't wait to travel with this one again. The Evergoods CPL 24 version two. This bag is fantastic. Now Evergoods, they're based out of Bozeman, Montana. It's run by Jack and Kevin. 
and this is the version two of this bag. I actually got to see this bag before it was released in its version one format. And there's this guy that I didn't know at the time named Jack. And Jack came from GoRuck, who I was well aware of at the time. But Jack, um, Jack had left GoRuck and he started this new company called Evergoods. And he hit me up one day before outdoor retail and he said he really wanted to meet up and hang out and show me this thing he'd been working on for Evergoods, which hadn't been released yet. And I never met him and we meet up and he kind of took me like the back near some dumpsters and he shows me this bag and it was kind of really secret. And he said, check this thing out. And ever since that first meeting with Jack, that kind of like secret special ops meeting, um, I've been blown away by this bag. The version one and now the V2 is out, it's even better. The V2 comes in both 24 liters, hence the name CPL24, or 28 liters. I quite like the 28 liter version for travel, um, but this is the 24 liter version and I kind of find that that's the perfect little balance for an everyday pack. If I want to bump it up to travel, I, get, I use the 28. I have them both, I love them both. Now starting on the outside, they're using a 500 denier high tenacity nylon and that's super strong, wears really well, super even finish on the fabric. And I, I really like it. Nice, deep, rich black. If you act right now, you can still probably order the blue, which is their limited edition colorway. But I like the black, you know me. Nice little Velcro spot on here. Toss a patch on or leave it, leave it clean. Now the thing that really impresses me and a lot of people with this bag is this suspension. You don't really find a suspension like this in an everyday bag. And the way they achieve that is with some patterning. This, this kind of expands, this patterning here, and it rolls over your shoulder, and it really is really comfortable to wear. It has a frame sheet and an aluminum stay, which, again, you really wouldn't think so when you're looking at this bag. But ultimately, when you fill this bag up and you're wearing it, this Zote foam shoulder strap and the patterning here, really, really comfortable to wear. I love the side grab handle, by the way. Now the zippers are YKK, coil zippers with the DWR finish, and they work really well, really smooth. And in here, you got this bright, bright liner fabric. And this is 420D high tenacity nylon as well. Now this, this fabric is nicer than most folks use on the exterior of their bags, and they're using it on the ins inside. Just like we like to do with our collabs. It's a bright color, easy to spot stuff when you're reaching around in there. Pretty simple organization. I like that though. I don't like a lot of pouches and pockets everywhere. It's a nice little zipper pocket up here. A little information in here. Big mesh pocket here. And there's two things that some people disagree about with this bag. I think they work just fine. For right-handed people, right? I'm right-handed, this is my right hand for video. I know we're swapped. But if you're wearing this on your left shoulder, you bring it around and right here, you have this access pocket. So again, left shoulder, right hand. And I can go in here. This is all my quick access stuff right here. Need all that stuff, you know, power bricks, whatever you need, pouches. However, for the version two, which is, this is the version two, Gotta say, I love this pocket up here. It's so nice. This is where I keep my sunglasses, keys, a little key leash in here. Um, whatever, I, maybe my AirPods in there. I love this little pocket up here. So necessary. <laughs> Additionally, you got your laptop pocket back here as well on the same right-handed side. Holds a 15 or 16 inch MacBook Pro plus additional documents, whatever you need. Now the other thing I mentioned is the fabric. I'm gonna get back to the fabric. Some people say this is a dust magnet or a hair magnet. I don't see it. For me, my black t-shirt probably attracts more hair. It's, not, it's a non-issue. I wanna address that. I think it works great. Super durable, really, really well made. These guys are putting out great stuff and I can't wait to see what else they put out. This is one of my favorite bags they've ever made. CPL 24 version two, get one for yourself. I love this bag. Next up, we have the GR1 21 liter collaboration with Huckberry, AKA the Slick. And what makes this different between the standard GR1, this is the 26 liter here, 
The standard one has a Velcro field up at the top. It also has Molly Pals webbing here at the bottom, where this one simply does not. Also doesn't have Molly webbing here on the side. Now, some people might not like that because they use the Molly Pals webbing to put on carabiners, pouches, whatever. They can hang boots or shoes from it, things like that. But with this one, hence the name, Slick. It's just clean, simple, great for an everyday bag. However, it's still super bomb proof. It's built with all the integrity that GoRuck makes all of their packs with, with all the great access and features and functions. It's just great looking, in my opinion, of course. And most people don't know this, but I actually got to meet Jason McCarthy a little bit over 10 years ago now, when he was first starting GoRuck. And they've come a long way since then. And one of the first meetings I had with Jason, he told me something that's always stuck with me. He said he wanted to make this bag out of 1,000 denier Cordura nylon, because it's the, the toughest stuff on earth. And if he couldn't use 1,000 denier Cordura nylon, he wanted to use steel. And he's like, well, but steel obviously won't work for a bag. So he's gonna choose Cordura, because it's the next best thing. And that kind of philosophy is what drove this bag to be awesome. Uh, they're totally obsessed with the durability and functionality of this bag. Uh, for one example here, I was talking to Jason about their laptop compartment right here in the back. You open it up, stores up, you know, 15, 16 inch laptop, no problem. Super padded, super comfortable. But the one test they do is they test every single thing on the bag a hundred times. And if it, if it has any sort of failure rate, if it catches even once, throw, scrap the design, rethink it, redo the whole thing. Or something like this, test it a hundred times, then make sure it actually works in the real world. If it doesn't, go back to the drawing board. So this bag, again, like I said, super comfortable. The straps are a little stiff when you first get it, but they do break in like a good pair of denim jeans over time. And everything is just built to an extreme bomb proof uh, and a bomb proof method. The grab handle, you know, that's nylon webbing with Cordura nylon, a little bit of padding in there. Looks, it feels like open cell foam to me. And of course, here's the sleeping bag. The clamshell opening, which allows you to pack however you want. This is a lot, this is a giant opening here. And again, with this collab being between GoRuck and Huckberry, get a really nice little patch in there, a leather patch. Normally not there, they have a different patch for the normal one. But I mean, this, this for me just has just enough organization. Quick access pocket right here for when you're going in the bag from the top, store your little doodads. Bigger one here at the bottom, mesh pocket, so you can see what you have down in here. And of course, there's your Molly Pals webbing here. So you can put additional attachments on the back. A nice little stretch elastic pocket here. You could put a laptop in here, but I like to keep mine in the back where it's meant to go. This will also work for a hydration bladder. Uh, I don't think for this one, I don't think this has a pass through, but you could put, you know, whatever you want in here. And then finally, let's go back to the front. Always got to have an external zippered access pocket, always. I love this thing here. It's huge, it's deep, you know, it goes the whole way to the bottom of the bag. You know, keep whatever you want in there. This bag is super cool, made out of 1000D Cordura nylon totally bomb proof and I've taken this bag, I've traveled with this bag quite a bit and it looks brand new. I don't know if you can see that on, on the camera, but it doesn't look like I've even used this bag once, but I'm looking forward to putting some scars on this bag and muddying it up a little bit more. I have two or three other GoRuck, so you know, I have to rotate through. This one, one of my all time favorite everyday bags. All right, so I have a special one here. This is the Arcteryx Valence Nomen. And I'm gonna go ahead and address the giant elephant in the room with this one. The price is $800, $800, yes, I said that correct. You could buy a used car for that. You could rent an apartment maybe in Paris for that, maybe a cheap apartment. But you could also buy this bag. And that drives a lot of people crazy. They don't understand why this bag costs so much, what's going on here, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about why. Why I love the bag and what's going on with this bag. So the designers up at Arc'teryx, they spent a lot of time making this bag look ultra minimal 
while putting a lot of techno technology into the bag. And the, the material itself, let's start with that. It's this matte finish, really beautiful black color. I love black. It's also available in gray, but it's, they call this their AC squared fabric. And this is a nylon, uh, 420D uh, woven nylon that is then coated with TPU on both sides, making the water, the, the fabric actually 100% waterproof. Now you'll see some stitch lines here and you know around the bag, but the, the brilliance is when you undo this bag, the whole thing is seam taped. So it's actually waterproof. They're actually using uh, water resistant zippers here, but the material and the way it's joined together, all waterproof. And that's not easy to do. In fact, when I went up to Arcteryx to their Arc One manufacturing facility, they told me that this is one of the most complicated products they've ever made. And I got to see these booklets that they have for every single one of their, their products. And in the booklets, they talk about construction, how many steps it takes, how many people it takes to you know, make each product. And I'm not gonna reveal the exact numbers because I'm sure that's, they don't want me to do that, but the numbers and time and amount of people, it's significant. <clears throat> um, I'll post some photos on there so you can see that as well. But what I also love about this bag is there's, again, it looks so simple. It's ultra minimal, but it's functional. It's super functional, it's super comfortable. And the thing that uh, people kind of complain a lot about with this bag is the shoulder straps. You see these things? Like, they look like they would be just super uncomfortable. I mean, this, this holds a lot of stuff. This will hold my laptop, my camera. I can travel with this bag for four to 12 days if I pack correctly, um, and I have. I've taken this bag around the world. But once you put up that much weight in there, these shoulder straps, they make you question, like, what's going on here? I'm here to tell you, I don't know how they do it, but these things, as thin as they are, they're so comfortable. It's, they, I don't know how they did it. It's some sort of magic or voodoo they've got going on up in Canada. But uh, this Canadian made Arcteryx Nomen is wildly comfortable to wear for hours on end, for trips, domestic or international, to the office, whatever you want. And that probably was their intention when they made this bag is, you could argue it is a fashionable bag. Um, it's. You know, it's a beautiful bag made for the office, made for the urban commuter per se. But I mean, they've used all their technology from all of their experience in outdoor sports to make this thing absolutely wildly functional and beautiful. And we're gonna get into the bag here, talk about it just a little bit. The main compartment, you see this white, and this is the backing of that material that I was just talking about. And here's all the seam taping. This is what makes the bag totally waterproof. I don't know if you can see that. We'll do some zoom ins here. But this bag is totally waterproof, totally good to go, and I love the access. So when I open up the bag, I have this quick access zipper. You can keep, you know, a whole bunch of small, easy to access stuff, flashlight, passport. It's nice that it's inside versus this giant cavern. I personally like a giant main compartment that's just without too much organization, really. Um, for me, I like to use pouches, so this works really well for me. Might not work well for you, but I really like that. And now, when you look at this bag, it doesn't really look like it would have any quick access external pockets, and I love those. The thing that's like in my hand, I wanna put it somewhere. Whether it's a boarding pass, whether it's you know, a wallet or a cell phone or something, keys, but what Arcteryx did here, and I think this is pretty ingenious, there's this zipper that goes around the entire perimeter of the bag. And now this zipper, they have the two zipper pullers, they meet here, right here up in the top corner. And when you open this one, you get access to your quick access compartment. And this thing is pretty sizable. I can keep a lot of stuff in here. I usually keep my sunglasses, my keys, um, flashlight, you know, stuff I want to access relatively quickly. You close the zipper up, and where that meets, you pull the zipper down, and here's your quick access laptop compartment. And there's some organization in here, there's a little, little divider, some, uh, some pockets. I can keep my passport in here, laptop, tablet. So there's, there's again, a lot going on with this bag that might not be, uh, first recognizable to the untrained eye. 
And again, yes, you can buy a used car for the price of this bag. For me, I don't know. I've been looking and lusting after for this bag for a long time. And I gotta say, I think I'd rather have this than a used car. I love this bag. The Brown Buffalo Conceal Pack version three in multicam black, 1000 denier Cordura nylon. This is a 26 liter version and they make a 19 liter version, which is more suitable for someone maybe under 5'10". I'm a six foot tall, so the 26 liter fits me and my build pretty perfectly. Holds a lot of gear. It's pretty stout. Of course, I have it filled out right now. But man, what I love about this bag is it's, it's simplicity. There's not all sorts of pockets and zippers everywhere. It's, it's really clean, really simple, and frankly, it's expertly made. And I wanna get into that. The, the company who makes this bag, the Brown Buffalo, is owned by a friend of mine named Douglas Davidson. And Douglas wasn't always just a friend of mine, he was a design inspiration, and he still is for, for that matter. But I've been looking up to this guy for about 15 years when I first got into this game. And his work has always been really impressive. He's been working with the North Face, Nike, Adidas, a bunch of other brands, developing some really cool stuff over the years. And I've always looked up to his designs. And this is a result of all that work and all that experience. I mean, it's, there's, like I said, there's not a whole lot going on. It's just really well made. You know, down to the, the finest details, this grab handle here, all the box stitching up here, the nylon webbing, YKK AquaGuard zippers, the way they all come together, it's just perfect. As far as using this bag is concerned, you got a front accessory pocket here, some minimal organization, two zippers in here. That's where I toss like quick access pouch for, you know, a power cord or cables, stuff like that. Got a little key clip here on the side, nice little touch, it snaps on. And then, in the main compartment, what's cool is you got a removable laptop pouch here. Now this holds a 15 inch laptop. I, I like this, but I like, uh, I like to do the pouch method, so I don't really use this. It is cool though, nice little addition. So you got this big Velcro field on the back. You can fill this clamshell opening with lots of different pouches, you know, um, organizers, things like that. I travel with this bag for up to you know six days, something like that. Minimal organization. You got a mesh pocket up here. In fact, Douglas actually signed this bag for me when I got it from him. Actually got this bag from him when we had a karyology meetup at his headquarters in Costa, Mesa, Costa Mesa, California. Now, I did say I got rid of that laptop sleeve in the back, and it's nice because you have a laptop compartment hidden in the back here. This will hold my 15 inch laptop just fine. I like it. And the shoulder straps, really nice and comfortable. Lots of padding here, air mesh on the backside. And, and ultimately, you know, there's not a list of features to go down, go down the line with with this bag. It's just really, really well made. It's built like a tank, built by an expert who's been a prolific designer in the field for many years. And honestly, it, you can't do too much better than this bag. If you want a simple all-rounder, comes in at 26 liters or 19 if you're a little bit shorter or smaller, this is a great bag, highly suggested. I love this bag. Okay, we got this little guy right here. It's the Mr. Ranch Beams Day Assault. And I think this might be the only video that exists about this bag. This bag is super special to me. I wrote an article about this bag. It's been vexing me for six years. I've been trying to find this bag. There's only 50 of these bags that exist. And this particular bag inspired the Mystery Ranch Carryology Collab, nicknamed Unicorn, but the actual product name being the Carryology Assault. It's kind of a spin on this bag. Now this bag, I first discovered this bag approximately six, seven years ago by now. And I fell in love with it right away. I'm a big fan of Mystery Ranch, their tri-zip here. And for me, it's just these two pockets right here, these two beautiful pockets on the side. Something about the proportion, they're just perfect. But frankly, 
it's a functional benefit as well for an EDC pack, which is what we're talking about, or everyday pack actually. And for me, it's just that little bit of extra access. You know, these you can store a little bit more stuff in here on the sides. Um, you know, quick access stuff, stuff I'm always talking about. Um, flashlights, notebooks, wallets, passports, anything like that. There's no organization in these pockets, which is kind of sad, but still love it. And we actually put some organization in the uh, collab that we did. But what I love about this pack is of course that it's super rare and that I'm even touching or holding this bag is a miracle in itself. Thanks to Greg Lee over at Suburban for hooking me up with this. Appreciate you, man. Um, let's talk about why I love it though. For me, it's those two pockets that I just talked about. It's the tri-zip, which gives you full access to the main compartment. I'll open that up in just one second. Got some more quick access here. In the back, this floating lid. Pretty solid amount, you know, got some mesh pocketing up there. You got a Velcro field up here, so you can put your uh, morale patches on there. That's important. We're gonna have some of those coming soon. And the, the craziest thing about this bag is, I'm not a really big camo fan, especially when it comes to an everyday bag. That's a little too loud for me. But it, for me, it's something about the way these materials and colors play together. This whole bag is made out of Cordura nylon, and you have the Multicam and the Coyote here. The Coyote kind of Y channel, as I call it. And the way they play together is just so nice. They, they also did shoulder straps in Coyote as well. Now, what I really like about the backside here, since we're back there, is you have a full-on adjustable Futura harness. So it's actually comfortable. It's adjustable for many different heights. Lots of different people can wear it. You pull, go down in here, adjust it, make it your height, make it shorter, taller, whatever you want. These are known for being some of the most comfortable harnesses in the world. And the fact that it's on an everyday pack, just massive bonus. Um, a little bit about the, the rarity of this pack. So Mystery Ranch and Beans. Well, let me open this up. And I'm gonna show you the tag on the inside. So here is a logo. This is one of their Made in USA packs. Hopefully you can see that. So Beams is a Japanese outdoor retailer and they sell Mystery Ranch products. And they got together and they made exactly 50 of these. And there's actually a funny story about this. They, Dana was working with them and Wherever the, uh, the miscommunication happened, it happened, but they actually made the wrong ones. They made this coyote on the center Y channel in Multicam, and it was wrong. And some of those bags still do exist. They're super hard to find, the mistake bags, but they ultimately ended up on this color combination. So it was the geniuses between Mystery Ranch and Beams getting together and making this awesome bag. And I don't know if I should be happy that they did that or really mad because this bag, like I said, it took, it's taken me years to find and it's been driving me crazy. Check out that article that I, that I linked below. But what I do like about it, the, for the inside, it's pretty basic, you know, again, large main compartment. You can put all your stuff, use big pouches for like, um, like packing cubes for your clothes, stuff like that. There is not a laptop compartment, but that was not the purpose of this bag. However, you can put a laptop back here. I like that. You have two small quick access zippers, zipper pockets up here on the sides, on the wings here. And they're a little small, but again, we use this bag as the inspiration for the, the unicorn, if you will. And the way that uh, the, the unicorn got its nickname is through the design of the patch, which again was inspired by this bag because this bag for many years, now that I have it, um, not so much, in, well, I guess it still is, but for many years, this was my unicorn, my grail, and my unobtainium. So we made the patch for the collab based on this pack, and uh, that's how it got the nickname. But this, one of my ultimate unicorns of all time, one of my favorite bags of all time, absolutely love this pack. Thank you, Mystery Ranch, thank you, Beams, for doing this. I love you and hate you for doing it. <laughs> And uh, thank you, Greg, for sending me this bag. Appreciate it, man. Well, that concludes my eight everyday favorite backpacks. If there's any that you think that I missed, give us a comment below. Let me know what you think. Otherwise, give us a like and a subscribe and party. Talk to you guys soon.